Hi, I'm Morgan from the marketing team at WellTalk. I'm joined here today by John Coleman, our Senior Director for Market Solutions with a focus in Medicare. John brings 20 years of healthcare experience, primarily in the payer and health system sector, to his role at WellTalk, where he develops value-based solutions for the Medicare market. John, we know that everything is really focused on COVID right now, right? But the reality is health plans also have a business to run. You need to keep people enrolled in your plan, and the way to do this is through smart engagement. So how do health plans know who to get in front of first? Well, that's a great question, Morgan. In today's day and age, health plans have to take kind of a, a three-pronged strategy uh, on how to get in touch with and how to sustain the contact with the member. And we, we've developed, we at WellTalk have developed these three tips. One's around data, one's around outreach, and the third is around support. So when you're talking about data, WellTalk uses data and social determinants of health, along with predictive analytics to create uh, profiles and targets of, of members uh, that we can share with health plans that will give them early view and, and early access into the potential for disenrollment. This puts health plans ahead of the game by allowing them to strategize on both a macro and micro level around membership, engagement, uh, and disenrollment. So the example that I'll give is if you're looking um, at a potential disenrollment, you can, you can look macro-wise as what are the disenrollment reasons? Was it customer service? Was it uh, the welcome call didn't come in time? You didn't have my physician. So you can look at it that way. And then you can drill all the way down to the specifics around Mr. Smith or Mrs. Jones, well, maybe they didn't have their favorite uh, provider, was no longer contracted with the organization, or the new office that, that they were assigned to is too far for them to get access. So there are so many different factors that go into uh, uh, deciding or, or assessing uh, what uh, reasons for disenrollment are, but WellTalk can help you uh, with those three tips from a drill down perspective, really analyze and assess and create a strategy to help you uh, look at all of those specific issues. I agree. You know, being able to accurately predict and target those at-risk members is a huge piece of this puzzle. So, you know, John, when we think about timing, you know, when should these health plans really be thinking about this kind of thing? Well, health plans should be thinking about this kind of thing right now. It's still time. It's a year-round environment. The relationship between WellTalk and health plans is, is year round, but there's still time, especially in the COVID environment, uh, which, which leads me to by partnering with WellTalk, health plans can access our existing scripts and channels, as we previously discussed, like IVR, uh, email and text uh, for quick and effective outreach to their members once we've identified, along with the plan, once we've identified the potential risk for disenrollment and how we can move on next to engage. You know, now let's think about the big picture. You know, what are some other recommendations that you would have for plans? Great question and, and probably the, the most difficult one, Morgan. I'd say uh, the final tip would be to create that plan stickiness and, and member loyalty is, is kind of a combination of, of, the, of the two previous questions. The first part is when you're, when you're focusing on the data and pinpointing the folks uh, that may be apt for disenrollment and you create a macro and micro level strategy, that's critical. Uh, the second piece is when you look at timing and we're, and we're dealing with everything in a COVID, in a COVID world, how, do you, how you leverage and use scripting uh, to ensure that you're partnering with, with the member once you pinpointed kind of what the potential for disenrollment is. The third piece is to be consistent with the outreach, uh, to develop a, a strategy where you're reaching out to a member once you've assessed potential issues and you can gather what the abrasion may be and, and quickly correct that problem. It could be anything from a from a, a once monthly or twice monthly check-in. Uh, it can also be around uh, well-talked campaigns that are set up again in, in a year-round manner where they'll, they will have a correspondence that comes out to them regarding uh, what the plan has created or what to look forward to as we move through the year. So as you go through kind of the three tips that we focused on, the final tip is the constant or consistent contact that, that focuses on eliciting what the abrasion is, uh, taking care of the abr abrasion or alleviating the abrasion and, and instituting or constituting a member loyalty where they know if there's a potential issue that comes up, uh, the plan is, is right there and apt to take care of that issue 
and ensure that the member is getting what they need as part of the plan. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. You know, we get that this is all very overwhelming and you're dealing with a lot of other things right now. It's important to remember that we're all in this together and, and well talk can help. So let's talk. Thank you so much, John. We appreciate it. Thank you, Morgan.